all Affinity apps can import and export PSD documents with Smart Object support, and they can additionally import PSB large format documents as well. I'll start by opening a PSD document. I could go to File, Open for the traditional approach of opening files, but instead, I'll move out to my file browser, then drag drop this PSD file into Affinity Photo. After a few seconds, the document opens with all the layer work intact. Adjustment layers, such as curves and HSL, are brought in with their settings mapped appropriately, so you will find that the majority of documents will look consistent. However, when I originally designed this document, each composite image I brought in was placed as a smart object. If I select one of these lens flare layers, it does not appear to be a separate editable document that I can open. The Affinity apps do support smart object import, but it must be explicitly enabled through the Preferences dialog. To do this, I can click on the Title menu on Mac, or go to Edit on Windows, then choose Preferences. On the General category, I can enable this option, Import PSD Smart Objects, where possible. Now, I'll close this PSD document by using Command W on Mac, Control W on Windows, and I'll reopen it using the Recent Files list. Now this time, if I double click on one of these lens flare layers, it will open as a separate document that I can edit. Another way to access this functionality is to have the Move tool selected. I can do this by pressing V on the keyboard. Then when I select one of these layers that was previously a smart object, I will see options on the Context toolbar to either edit or replace the embedded document. If I go to File, Export, you will see that we can export back to the PSD format, which is useful for interchanging with other users. But for now, I'll resave this as an Affinity document file by going to File, Save As, and I'll just save the file to the original location. Now, if I compare the AF Photo document to the original PSD, we can see there is a notable decrease in file size from 271.8 megabytes to 135.3 megabytes. This is without losing any fidelity or non-destructive editing capabilities. Smart objects are commonly used in product mock-up templates, and we can import these and easily replace the smart object layer information. I'll drag in this iMac mock-up PSD to import it, and if I expand the screen layer, you will see that the free transform has been mapped to Affinity Photo's Live Perspective filter. I can easily click on the layer thumbnail here to bring up the perspective transform and modify it if required. But for now, I'll close the dialog, then select the screen layer, and like with the previous example, I can either double click on the thumbnail to edit the embedded document, or if I select the Move tool, I can then choose Edit Document on the Context toolbar. Now I can go out to my Replacement Image folder, find the new screen capture I want to use, and click drag it in to place it. To align it correctly, I can enable Snapping on the toolbar here, then use the Move tool and snap the layer into place. Then I can close the embedded document, either by clicking up here or by using Command W on Mac, Control W on Windows, and the screenshot on the iMac screen will be updated. Now, if I use the Save shortcut, which is Command S on Mac, Control S on Windows, Affinity Photo will prompt me to save this as an Affinity document file. We may be in a workflow situation where we need to quickly write back to the PSD file instead. And going to File Export, Every time to save back to a PSD file is time consuming. If I go back to the Preferences menu, which again is under the Title menu on Mac OS or under the Edit menu on Windows, I can check this option Enable Save Over Imported PSD Files. Now, when I use the Save shortcut, Affinity Photo will overwrite that PSD file we imported from originally.
do be aware that you may lose certain functionality by doing this. If you are using Affinity-specific features, such as live filter layers, for example, they will have to be rasterized, as they are not supported by other software. Finally, I'll show you PSB file importing. There is nothing specific that is required before importing these large format documents. You simply bring them in as you would do a regular PSD file. This is a 32-bit high dynamic range document, and the out-of-bound pixel values have been preserved during import. I can quickly enable the 32-bit preview panel, then drag the preview exposure slider down to reveal the extremely bright values. Then I'll reset the slider back to zero. These HDR pixel values can then be tone mapped in Affinity Photo using whichever method is preferred. For example, you could use the tone mapping persona, or you could use a live procedural texture layer to scale the values. Or a very rudimentary approach would be to add a levels adjustment, scale down the output white level, then Add a second levels adjustment and decrease the gamma slider for a nonlinear transform. And finally, you could add a brightness and contrast adjustment and increase both brightness and contrast to taste. And that was a look at the PSD and PSB import, export, and smart object functionality within Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.